any relation expression results in either true or false so based on that condition is going to execute the statements so if the condition it is true to execute these statements and if the condition fails is going to skip the statement and and the statements following else will be executed if it is true to execute statement 1 then comes out of if else if statement suppose if the condition 1 fails it goes to condition 2 or it checks for the condition 2 dear students welcome to computer science classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyashram peyo college temple of excellence mysore students let us start our discussion with the new chapter the control statement chapter 10 now let us see the weightage of the chapter here we have mcq there are two mcq for two marks and five marks question two so total weightage is 12 marks so weightage of the chapter is 12 now let us see the topic in this session so in this session we are going to talk about the selection statements as well as iteration statements. Let us start with the control statement. And here, what are control statements? The control statements are statements that alter the sequence of flow of instruction. So here, now we know that in a programming concept, in any program, the compiler executes the statements one by one in the in a sequence. So suppose in case if we need to change the order of sequence in a program, then we are using controlled statements. So a, any single input statement, assignment statement, output statement is called as simple statement. So here there are two types of statement. One is simple statement. And here input statement A or assignment statement or output statement or example for simple statement. And another type of statement are called as compound statements. Compound statements. Here it is a group of statements that are separated by semicolon and enclosed within curled braces. I mean it is called a block of statement. So compound statement is the definition is it is a group of statements separated by semicolon and enclosed between two brackets that is the definition of compound statement now let us see what are all the different types of control statements and here there are two types one is selection statement second one is iteration statement these two are two types of control statements now let us see the definition of selection statement. So what are selection statements? This statement allows us to select a statement or set of statements for execution based on certain condition or some condition. So what is, this, what is selection statement? And these are the statements which allow the user or a programmer to select a set of statement or statement and based on the condition that is a definition of selection statement and here these are all different types of selection statements they are one is if statement if else statement nested statement and switch case statement or switch choice statement now let us see the definition of if statement what is if statement and here the if statement is the simplest form of if statement the statement is also called as one way branching so this is one way branching statement and this statement is used to decide whether a statement or a set of statements should be executed or not and the decision is based on condition which can be evaluated as true or false see normally the selection statement it's based on some condition so any condition is nothing but we are using a relational expression so here any relation expression results in either true or false so based on that condition is going to execute the statements if the condition is true it execute one set of statements if condition is false it is going to execute another set of statements in a program now let us see the syntax of this 
so the general form or syntax is first one is if condition and here this is statement or statements so this one form or another form is if condition open the bracket and here we can have n number of statements close the bracket so this is the syntax of if statement so here this if statement it is called one way branching statement so here if the condition it is true it executes the statement in this format in this syntax if the if the check for the condition if the condition is happens to be true it executes this statement or a block of statements that is if simple if statement the if the condition it is true it has a value 1 and statement 1 is executed as we have seen in the example if the condition is true it executes the one statement now if the condition is false it has a value 0 and statement 1 is not executed so in this example if the condition fails or false it will not execute the statement that is the meaning of the second point here now the expression or condition must be put in inside parentheses so here the lucas syntax here the expression or relation expression must be or the condition must be inside the inside this bracket now the statement one will be executed only when the condition is true sometime it may be block of statement so in the syntax here if the condition is true only this will be executed or a block of statement are executed only if the condition is true if the condition is false then control skips the statements skip the statement one or block of statement and goes to the next statement following if condition now in this example if the condition fails here is going to skip these block of statements or one statement and goes to the next statement following the if condition so this is an example for a syntax of if statement and it is called as one way branching because it is going to work out or execute statement only if the condition is true if the condition fail it will not execute the statement that is why it is called as one way branching statement that is if statement next one is if else statement so next statement is if else statement it is another type of selection statement and it is also called as two way branching statement it is called as two way branching statement it is used when there are alternative statements need to be executed based on the condition it executes the some set of statement when the given condition is true and another set of condition if the result is false so it is that it is called as two way branching because it has an alternative like true or false so it is going to execute certain set of statement if the condition it is true and if the condition fails or false is going to execute another set of statements so this is a false statement the general form if condition statement one and else statement two so it can be a block of statement so here as per the syntax if condition statement one else statement two this is the syntax of if else statement now let me explain the working of this so here here the condition so if the condition it is true it execute these statements and if the condition fails is going to skip the statement and and the statements following else will be executed so here it can be a one statement or a group of statements or a block of statements so this is the effective statement now let us say an example here so here this is a program to find greatest of two numbers so this is a program to find greatest of two numbers the program starts with header file declaration of variable two variables a and b then clear screen then here enter two numbers so we have to input two values a and b now we are using if else statement if a greater than b this is the condition so this is the condition so if the condition is true 
we suppose to print a as the greatest number and if the suppose the condition fails here obviously we have to print b as the greatest number so this is the syntax so this is if else statement and here if condition if the condition is true it execute this statement and if condition fails it skip the statement and execute the statement after else then after the, this is if else statement then we close the program with get ch and bracket now let us see the output of this now here got into the program we have to enter two number enter two numbers and here we are entering two numbers 10s comma 5 we are entering two numbers here first number stands for a second one is for b so accordingly 10 and 5 so here it checks for the value a stands for 10 b is for 5 10 greater than b if i say 10 greater than b the condition the result is true when the result is true you get the answer as a that is the greatest number so 10 and 5 it says 10 is the greatest number so suppose in the example if the input value suppose if i input as 5 as a and 2 as b again in the example 5 is greater than 2 you will get 5 is the greatest number suppose if i say this is a value is 2 and b value is 3 in this example a greater than check for the condition a greater than b is 2 greater than b the condition fails then it says that it is going to skip this statement and is going to execute the statement after else accordingly it is going to print b is the greatest so in this example it says 3 is the greatest number. So, this is the functioning of if else statement. In the next slide, say it is nested if. So, it is another form of selection statement. One is if statement, next one is if else statement, next one is nested if statement. So, what is nested if statement? If the statement of an if statement is another if statement then such a if statement is called as nested if statement so nested if statement the meaning is one if statement inside another if statement that is called nested if statement so here nested if statement contains an if statement within another if statement now there are two form of this now let us see one example or one syntax of this the general form of if else if so here if else if is a one type of nested if statement accordingly if the condition is one statement one else if condition two statement two and goes on like this last one is else default statement so in this example this is condition one condition two and you can have n number of conditions and last one is default statement so normally when we are going to use this statement see we are using if else if statement if there are more condition more than two conditions to be checked or tested then we are using nested if that is if else if statement so in the previous example if statement it looks uh, it tests for only one value and if else statement it also checks for only one value now if else if it is a one form of nested div it checks for or if at all if there are more number of tests to be taken place then we are using if else if statement now let us see the definition of this it is also called as if else if ladder so this structure will be used to verify range of values and the statement is allowed choice to be made between different possible alternative means if i say different possible conditions means you can have if there are more than two conditions we can make use of if else if statement so a choice must be made between more than two possibilities so this is if else if statement here how it functions first condition one is tested if it is true then it is statement one will be executed otherwise condition 2 is tested and if condition is 2 is true it executes a statement 2 
and so on. Otherwise, condition three it goes on like this, and finally the condition n is tested. If it is true, it execute the n statement, and if none of the condition is true, it won't execute default statement. So that is what you have seen in the syntax of this. In this syntax, see here the condition one. It checks for the condition one. If it is true, it executes statement one. Then comes out of if else if statement. Suppose if the condition one fails, it goes to condition two or it checks for the condition two. Again, if the condition is true. It executes this statement, that is statement two, then comes out of if else if. Suppose in this example, if the condition, if all the conditions are failed, then it executes the default statement, that is after else. So if none of the conditions are true, it executes last statement, that is default statement. That is what the definition given here. So this is if else if statement. So student. In this session, so far we have discussed about as control statements and types of control statement. That is uh, selection statements and iterative statement. Under selection statement, we have learned the definition and syntax of if, if else, and if else if statement. So let me continue my discussion in the next session. Thank you so much.